And welcome back to Dragon Ball Z What If. What if? The hell? I mean, I should go on completely. Oh, yeah. What if Trunks was back in time and into the Red Ribbon Army song? I said, I started this out. I actually blanked on the title of the video for a second. Jeez. Uh, but part six. We are we have moved into the final part, everyone. This will be the last part. And as you can see here, some wackier shenanigans are afoot. Yes, we had the uh, arrival of Beerus to the Dragon Ball you know, universe. But because Boo was not there, and because Vegeta was not on planet now, well, Vegeta really wasn't doing much in the original arc anyway. He fought Frieza, Frieza, Beerus, and nothing really came of it. Uh, but, more to the point, because Boo wasn't there, Beerus really wasn't threatening the Earth so much. They eventually did uh, get to... They eventually... How do I? I'm trying. I'm, I'm struggling to phrase this sentence here. They eventually did acquire Super Saiyan God through the Dragon Balls, and if Beerus basically wasn't threatening the Earth. Beerus was just the adamant about the Super Saiyan God. Eventually, they gave him the Super Saiyan God. They had their fight, and Beerus left for the, for time being. Now, however, as you can see here, I did change things up a little bit because Gohan, having still been training all this time, is still very strong, but realizes. We need to get stronger if threats like Beerus are out there. And he said, well, wait, wait, we did the Super Saiyan God ritual for death. Why don't we just do it for ourselves? I mean, yeah, we could try to learn it the hard way, like Vegeta clearly did. But it would just be easier to do this and then train beyond that point. Goku is, uh, is not against the idea he doesn't love it but because he kind of likes the idea of actually training and earning that power rather than giving it or just getting it for free um goku even, even said as much it's the power he couldn't attain on his own through his own power and i and i he, he hates that at least in the dub is what he said so they both reds and Gohan both agree to do the super saiyan god ritual they both gain it great wonderful Trunks and Goten ask, hey, can we have it? Can we do the two? Can we do it? It's like, no, you can't. What? Why not? It's like, because you're little kids. Wait maybe about five to ten years and maybe we'll do it. But no. It's like, oh, man. And so they spend their time training with their new god forms. Uh, or at least the, god, the new level of power they have courtesy of the god form. <clears throat> now, eventually, Whis does show up again. And persuade Goku to join him for training on Beerus' world. But uh, does Goku or Rat Goku does Gohan or Rat actually join him? I Gohan no. I think Gohan is content training on his own and trying to push his powers to actually unlock God effectively. Raditz though does let Bulma know before he goes and you know, go Chi Chi's like get back here and no. So Raditz I do think does train with Goku. Now, this leads us into Resurrection F. The thing is, both Cold... I'm actually surprised when I think about it that they didn't try to bring back King Cold, either. Uh, this this is odd, because Cold, by all accounts, is the stronger of the two of them. So, I'm not exactly sure why King Cold was not considered to be brought back. Maybe it's, ex maybe it's like explained in a one-off line, but I don't remember. Why do you, put it in the comments below why you think maybe King Cold wasn't brought back during Resurrection F. But you have... Here's the thing. Dende is supposed to be the guardian of the Earth. We know Kami was good at sensing when dangers were approaching the Earth. Why didn't Dende sense Frieza's ships coming? My only real guess on that would be, the, would be one of two things. One, they kept their powers low and they kept their presence kind of hidden to some degree. But even that, still, he should have been able to sense the ship itself, like any energies on that ship. If he could sense Raditz, if he could sense the Saiyans, he should be able to sense them. But beyond that, I think it was probably that Dende isn't as good with sensing things at this point in his career as Guardian of the Earth. I I think that's legitimately, <laughs> legitimately the reason. Like, he just couldn't sense them. Hell, Dende wasn't even able to really sense Beerus, but he could figure out that uh, he was a god. So, I think Kami, who is still around, by the way, and still much more experienced here, um, I, I should be able to sense him. Uh, by, by the by, 
again, I don't know what Kami's natural lifespan really would have been. We know Guru was far older than Kami. Uh, that's what allowed him to use the uh, potential unlocking ability. But, uh, and we know Kami was not old enough to use that ability, so, hmm. But, I think Kami actually is able to sense, uh, sense like, oh, Goku, there's something, uh, I, there's force, uh, there's a ship uh, hovering just outside of the atmosphere of the planet. I don't know exactly what, uh, what they are, what is, uh, what, who it is or what they want. And Goku goes, and he can recognize Frieza, they recognize Frieza's ship. Like, what the is going on? And Kami puts that. Goku, I don't know what it is, but I believe these are free, uh, Freeze's forces are trying to collect the Dragon Balls. They're, they try to resurrect him. Uh, which, which, yeah, no, because of that, they quickly find that out and uh, find uh, quickly find him, use the Dragon Radar, find where the Dragon Balls are, and quickly just squash that threat. Now, Grant, sorry, Goku wouldn't be there, but Gohan would be. And so Gohan basically just like, yeah, no, and so Resurrection F is completely negated, which means... Rads and Goku are spending a lot more time training. Now, obviously, Super Saiyan Blue Goku is, a, is clear. As you can see here, I have Super Saiyan God Raditz, and I have Beast Gohan. Gohan does not have Beast Mode right now. But I do think he has Super Saiyan Blue. Or, uh, sorry, Super Saiyan God. I do think both Goku and Raditz, with enough time, have also gained Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, I just used Super Saiyan... It was the first image I found here, so Super Saiyan God uh, Raditz... That's the one I use there. It's a good looking image, too. I believe that's a uh, Xenoverse mod. So I don't have to owe anyone credit on the picture. Um, I don't know about this one of Beast Gohan. This looks mostly just straight out of the movie. Uh, maybe inverted, but uh, yeah. Anyway. And by the way, I am not against giving people credit at all. I will give credit where credit's due. I just don't want to unintentionally use an image that someone else made without giving them credit. Uh, so eventually, Shampo shows up. And he wants to have the tournament to see who's going to, you know, wind up uh, with Universe 7 under their control. This is where a problem emerges because you're, you just, you don't only have, sorry, you not only don't have Vegeta, you don't have Piccolo, you don't even have the androids there. So you only got Gohan, Raditz, and Goku. That is a problem. <laughs> um, that's actually a big problem. Big problem. So, I mean, they get Monaka. I actually think what could happen is they actually show up and plan the Vegeta as Vegeta's in the middle of training. Uh, <clears throat> if I, can't, I can't remember if I took his tail off at any point. But uh, if his tail was gone, it's back. If not, he's been training with it. It's like, ah, well, ah, Lord, Lord Beerus, it's you. It's like, ah, oh, Vegeta, it's good to see you again. Uh, how have you been? Uh, uh, fine, my, my lord. Uh, uh, how, how may I? Uh, because, wait, who is? Hey, Vegeta, it's good to see you again. Kakarot, what, what are you doing here? I said, ah, oh, yes, you see, we're we're having a little tournament, tournament in Universe 6, and we need... Need an extra team member, and you just so happen to qualify. So come along now, Vegeta. Wait, I, I have a, I have a whole uh, uh, empire to rule. It's like, oh, let me put it this. Well, let me put it this way. You can come and come and fight for your universe, and then go back to your empire, or you can stay here, and I'll destroy your empire, and then you can come. Either way, you're coming. <laughs> your choice. <laughs> now, if I keep things out, keep things in check while I'm gone. Uh, fine. And so, <laughs> uh, so, how you been? You got any stronger? <laughs> you just, you wait, Kakarot. I'll show you just how strong I've become. It's a like, cool. I can show you how much we've improved as well. Uh, and he sees Gohan. And he sees Razor. Your, uh, <clears throat> so, I see you, uh, I say, take it, you've been training as well, Raditz, and you as well, boy. It's like, yeah, we've been training. Absolutely. Of course. <laughs> and Vegeta thinks he's going to show off all this power. Uh, luckily, they don't do the stupid writing thing beforehand, because that was dumb as shit, Vegeta. Seriously. <laughs> but, what does happen is, uh, they, the fight starts out, and Goku goes first, takes down Batamo, Gets knocked out by Frost. Uh, and then uh, Veg Free uh, Vegeta wants to go in and take out Frost. I, say, I, will, 
I want him. He's mine. And so <clears throat> Vegeta goes in, shows off Super Saiyan 2, and beats on Frost. Again, though, he gets knocked out, and they ultimately find Frost is cheating. Uh, which allows Vegeta to get thrown back, get the uh, well, back in for the next match. <laughs> it allows him to just uh, allow me what since he uh, since he uh, did me a disservice. Allow me one free shot. Is that a uh, valid? Um, I suppose that can be arranged. <laughs> he's not going to go with his full power because he's got one other trick up his sleeve now. But he's just, boom, just, uh, uh, just blasted off through the ring. It's like, fine, bring him the next one. And then it's I believe it was Megara next. Otto Magera and Vegeta struggles and I think ultimately actually loses against Otto Ma uh, Magerta. I think that's his, how his name is pronounced. It's like, Jabatol! Except he does show off his new form, Super Saiyan 3, um, which he's gained uh, over the years. And he, he he's able to push Magerta uh, back quite a bit. But unless he was able to figure out the um, his weakness was just being called names, which admittedly this Vegeta probably could. So, yeah, I'll actually change my stance on that. He does still beat him, gets gets him cold water, uh, you know, is able to cool down. Then him and Kaba fight. And unfortunately, Vegeta, even at max power, we know Super Saiyan 3 can't last very long, even for a human body. Even for someone who's mastered the form, it's still a draining form to use. But he shows up the full power. The thing about Kaba, though, is... Sorry, playing in my mouth. We know that he was able to go toe to toe, even uh, with even in, uh, even without Super Saiyan, with I believe it was Super Saiyan Vegeta. He was able to go toe to toe with him, roughly. Um, you know, though Vegeta's Super Saiyan form still outclassed him, and then he transformed and was able to even that out. Keep in mind, this is Vegeta who would have a God Key enhanced base form. So Kaba is actually probably much stronger than Vegeta is. And Vegeta realizes this, like, it was like, ah, and Vegeta gets knocked out of the ring. Go, the next would be uh, Raditz, who goes up. And unfortunately, this time, it's the complete opposite. And very similar to Vegeta, he starts to kind of mentor Kaba a little bit, and even tries to encourage him to go further beyond. And sure enough, he transforms into the Super Saiyan form. However, Raditz shows off his god, he whips him with his tip. Whips him with his hair and maybe just gut punches him, and it's all she wrote. And upon seeing God Key Saiyans or Super Saiyan gods, Vegeta once again is like, this form. What is it? It's like it's like something divine. It's no, no. It's like, oh yeah, we learned how to tap in the God Key while you're gone. Cool, huh? It's like ah, damn it. <laughs> he doesn't fully freak out, but he's just like it's just he can't seem to catch up. And so, uh, next and last would be Hit. And unfortunately, Grads would go down pretty fast. Gohan only has God Key right now, so he struggles hard. I think, though, because Go uh, on between him and Rads would be the more analytical, would be able to maybe start to deduce Hit's patterns. He maybe get a hit, and, hit in on Hit once in a while. It's then Goku goes in. They go fully toe to toe. The only problem here is that Goku doesn't have Kaioken, so he's got to rely solely on his Super Saiyan Blue. Which, luckily, I think because of um, because of everything they kind of been tr with training is enough in this case. I think uh, even if if it's not, whoops. Even if it's not, I think Gohan does. Goku does give up after he asks. I think he uses more lethal techniques, or his full power, and then Monaka comes in and hit throws the match. And so now you might be saying, "Well, wait, no, no, Goku shouldn't be able to beat Hit." And technically, you're right, Goku shouldn't. But this Goku is stronger than his uh, canon counterpart by a decent little bit, and he still has Super Saiyan Blue. So I think it averages it averages out just enough that Goku can keep up the fight long enough to allow Hit to take the win, and then hit last Monaka to take the win. In the Goku Black arc, you wouldn't get um, you wouldn't get Vegeta and Goku going to the future. I think this version would be Reds and Goku going to the future, and Gohan would stay behind. Still training, still getting stronger, all that. Uh, they would lose their first fight, come back, lose the second fight, come back, uh, and eventually they would turn into I can't remember what the fusion I've used in the past. Would it be 
Rad or Go Go Godids? Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know if I've ever done a fusion of these two together. Go would it be Go Kid? Because Go the fusion where it, it's I obviously people still argue this like one personality dominates the other in the fusion. Uh, it's like no, they're just the unique. They're just one mind, and that is true. But traits of the other are a little bit more dominant than the traits of one, which is why Vegito calls himself Vegito because it's Vegeta. Clearly, some of Vegito's personality is clearly a bit more present in Vegito over Gogeta, whereas Goku is clearly a bit more present in Gogeta over Vegito. And this is simply due due to the names they choose. Vegeta is a combination of Vegeta and Kakaroto, which is his Saiyan name. If it were if it were if it were fully even Steven, there really wouldn't be a need to call um, to go by that. There really wouldn't be. Um, in fact, if it were even Steven, there'd be no use. Goku would probably be able to just use his normal name. The fact is, while it's even Steven in terms of power, that doesn't mean it's even Steven in terms of personality. There are clearly some dominant traits of one over the other, and, and there's probably trade off. There's probably some dominant traits of Goku and Vegito as well, but Vegito's dominant traits kind of one, or Vegeta's dominant traits one out to give the name Kakarato, whereas in Gogeta clearly one out to give the name Goge, uh, Gogeta. Anyway, I digress. So, what well, the name would be Rat? Because if it's Rat, of course, then again, Rat it's probably is a bit more okay with saying Goku's name. So Radku, I th- that's the you know what I I'm remembering now. I have used this fusion for it, and I've called it Radku. <laughs> it's, I'm Radku, '90s extreme Radku. <laughs> that is, I mean, Gogeta did debut in the '90s. <laughs> that is a very rad to the extreme max tubular coup. <laughs> um, though I guess let's see here. Uh, if I were to theoretically use Kakarot instead of uh, Radids, Kakarids. Uh, are Go Kids. I like Go Kids better, frankly. Either way, they would eventually create their fusion. It would still fail, and then Zeno would show up. Because Zeno would still show up. Let's really just fast forward to what you really want to hear about is the Tournament of Power. I Because the Goku Black Heart's still going to happen the way it happens. But the Tournament of Power. Who the hell is on this team in this version? That would be Goku, obviously. Gohan, Raditz. So there's your three. Krillin, Tien, Roshi. All right, but now we're missing Vegeta, we're missing Frieza, and we're missing two androids. How the hell do you fill that in? Well, you still go back and get Frieza, uh, Vegeta, who has again been training since that. <laughs> it's a at least to get his Super Saiyan three completely mastered. I think Nappa, who also has Super Saiyan, admittedly, and probably even Super Saiyan two at this point, would also join. So you got a bunch of Saiyans there. You can use the Dragon Balls to wish Freeze or use Bob uh, Baba to wish Freeze back, which I think they do wish him back. Granted, he's still very weak and all that, but they do wish him back. Comparatively, he's comparatively weak. Doesn't have Super Saiyan Gold or Vegeta Gold at all. Vegeta Gold, Freeze Gold. And then the last one we I've kind of kept not hidden, but kept tucked away for a rainy day because we tucked them away for a rainy day in part four. Where they unseal Piccolo, and it's like what? Oh, uh, uh, bags Namek, the Namekian. What's it? What's he into? Uh, I see it. What do you? Why? This is some sort of trick. What? You, what exactly do you want from me? It's like we want your help. And what do I get out of it? Hmm? You're just gonna seal me back in that urn when I'm when it's all said and done. Well, it's like well, Namekian, and give and Beerus is right there, and he's like, who is he? It's, uh, because he's gained, like, a kind of god-level status, and maybe in that urn, Piccolo was meditation training. It's entirely possible. <clears throat> we don't know what it's like. It could be, like, the little genius lands, like, you know, phenomenal cosmic power, EDB living space. Could be like that. Or it could just be, like, a little pocket dimension where he can't do much. But either way, I think he probably would have gained the ability to sense at least some level of god key. When he senses it, he's like, oh, it's like... Meh. Let me put it this way, Namekian. Either I can wipe you out of existence now, or you can fight to save your reality. As a reward, you will not be sealed. You will not be sealed within that urn. But you will. But uh, but you'll have to be able to leave this planet. Maybe you can go conquer your old home world or something like that. <clears throat> uh, 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 
fine. Uh, what, and they explicitly, no, kill it. Oh, come on. But um, yeah, so the tournament of power happens. It's like, <laughs> and Freeze is like, oh, you know, I like you, Namekian. <laughs> you and me have something in common. We both hate these monkeys. <laughs> so yeah, well, what about it? <laughs> anyway, so the tournament of power begins, and you still get the, most of the same, like Vegeta, Goku, Nappa, and Raz kind of going their own separate ways, and Piccolo, too. Uh, the humans, which is really just Yamcha, Krillin, Raditz, um, not Yamcha, I'm sorry, Tien, Krillin, Raditz, along with Gohan, are um, are doing their own thing, are, are, you know, standing the ground. Universe 9 would have gotten knocked out. By the way, the preliminary matches still would have happened, but still. Uh, well, nothing would have changed there. Uh, the biggest changes come off when you get the interactions with individuals like Vegeta and like Frieza and basically individuals who are weaker, who were there in the original, but weaker now, <clears throat> and individuals who are replacing others. For example, uh, I Napa is Napa and Vegeta are actually probably going to kind of cleave through a lot of the team of uh, uh, the individuals that eighteen and. Uh, 17 were fighting. For example, Krillin got knocked out first because he wasn't paying attention here, but because he was kind of bragging and showing off to his wife at that point, that's why uh, that's why he was uh, able to get snuck up on. Here, I think he's just taking these more seriously, so Krillin handles himself longer. I also think a lot of members of Universe 4 probably get knocked out sooner. There's a lot less bullshit on our... Um, there's a lot more or less no-nonsense bullshit on this team than there is in the original. Uh, then you have... <clears throat> uh, then you would have uh, individuals like Frieza, who are weaker here, but Frieza, by all accounts, is still much stronger than Frost, so you still would probably get him doing the whole coy thing with uh, <laughs> Gohan. And is oh, I hope to, I hope we can work together further, monkey. Hmm. Uh, so, there's that. <clears throat> thing You really wouldn't start to see things heat up, <clears throat> something kind of in the throat until the Goku Jiren fight where they clash Goku goes Ultra Instinct granted he doesn't have the spirit bomb here because he didn't train with King Kai at all in this version but I still think um, like he does one super like Kamehameha or something like that and it gets thrown back in his face and he still is able to access Ultra Instinct meanwhile you would get I think Piccolo would be a, probably a bit more ruthless here and start kind of systematically annihilating teams. Team 3, the robots, I think would be a big one. Um, eventually, you would get him fighting off against the invisible individual and the very tiny guy who ended up knocking him out. But the problem is, for them here, is that he ultimately goes into his orange form and just blows them away. It's like, insects. <laughs> insects. No, insects. Little, stupid little insects. All of them. And so... Um, and so you have that happening. The humans, not that, by all accounts, would be knocked out pretty much the same as they were prior. Although, mm, the Gia probably is less accommodating to Rush. He says, just get out of here, old man. You're, you're just in the way. Nappa actually would also probably be gone well before, like, the, um, any, after the humans. He'd probably be going out in the place of Piccolo, because by all accounts, he is the weakest Saiyan there. Uh, as the fights go on, things get more heated. Eventually, you do get um, the, get Vegeta knocked out as well, because there's only so much he can do. And Frieza eventually gets knocked. Despite his cunning, he gets knocked out as well. And eventually get falls down upon Raditz, Goku, and Gohan. Uh, Raditz, and Go Raditz, Goku, and Gohan are facing off against Universe 9. They each have uh, their one individual. They're fighting. Gohan is fighting with uh, Dispo, Topo, and Raditz duking out, and Goku and Jiren are going at it. Raditz is able to beat Topo honorably, which doesn't force him to use God Key. Go on is strong until Raditz comes in, but Raditz ultimately is um, <laughs> is is almost knocked out. And remember, this is his uncle now, someone that he's grown to really care about. I think Raditz is almost knocked out, and then he has to give his life. He has to, he has to sacrifice himself, take a big hit. And basically take the brunt of it. And Goku goes down as well. This causes Gohan to snap. Goku's still in the ring, by the way, but Raz is knocked out. And he goes into what would be the equivalent of beast mode. 
Gohan, where he kind of bypasses Super Saiyan blue and has more of a, let's call it a, like a metallic blue hair. Well, that'd be a pretty cool hairstyle, actually, metallic blue. Uh, I mean, some of the, like, a lot of toys do that, but I mean, like, in universe, because it's like a grayish silver is what his hair is, and very metallic looking, and so he gains this form. Now, I'm cheating a little bit, but we're going a little off the rails, because screw it, why not? This form is still, there's still, it's still up in the air how this form is attained. We know it's only strictly to go on, which means it's something unique to him. So what's unique to go on? The theory I go with right now is the fact that it's a combination of his own, his own potential, his half free potential, uh, combined with the fact that he had the, uh, hidden, in, you know, the hidden potential unlock of the uh, Elder Kai. Now, he obviously doesn't have that here, but what he does have is God Key. So what happens if you combine God Key on that? You get essentially a pseudo version of it it's nowhere near as strong as the beast mode but it's enough that jiren is on alert and goku go on rushes in doesn't just tag him he nails him and now they're duking it out on the in the um they're duking it out in the sky just going at it for a while goku's like go on and jiren actually now has to flex his energy which unfortunately is going to ultimately surpass gohan's he starts wailing on Gohan. Gohan's like, Dad! It's like, Gohan! Uh, it's like, Dad! Take it! Just, Gohan gives him the remainder of his energy, which admittedly is probably more than what Vegeta had. And so Goku gets a big buff, and he just goes toe-to-toe -to -toe one more time. Master Ultra Instinct. This time, however, uh, I think Goku is a little bit more thorough with the job. Plus, Jiren has also been now fighting it out with Gohan for a little bit, which tired him out to a certain degree. So I think this time he does knock out Jiren. And that leaves him the winner, which begs the question, what's his wish? Probably would still be the same wish as it is in the original for 17. Bring the universes back, please. And so there you go. That's that's all. It's all well, uh, well and done. Frieza gets resurrected. Vegeta gets to... But Vegeta... He, um, Vegeta is in charge of the Empire, to which Frieza... Basically says, well, you can always work for me, Frieza. I'm the one who's now in charge of your empire. Says, the day I let Saiyan take over my empire. And the minute he gets brought back, Vegeta just kills him. Just, boom. Ah! It's like, who oh, dear? It's like, well, I can't say, we can't say we didn't live up to our promise. That's all right. It's not our concern what he did, uh, what he, how he decided to waste his life after that. It's like, oh, I must admit, that felt really, really good good and so piccolo goes off and kind of tries to conquer namek and would succeed ultimately um yeah that's that's what happens there the only other issue would be broly and honestly i don't think broly even happens because i don't think vegeta would really be searching out for you know warriors or anything like that so broly's kind of stuck on the planet uh, and then that would be to lead us into Dragon Ball Super uh, Superhero, where you would get Goku and Raditz training on Beerus' planet. Gohan ultimately you know, taps into more of his power when the Super Saiyan God thing happens. There is no Piccolo to look after Pan here. So, uh, so weirdly enough, uh, weirdly enough, I actually think they would make a big mistake here. And by kidnapping Pan. Although, we, I believe it was Pan pretty much beat the shit out of the guy that kind of tried to kidnap her. So ultimately, when Solmax reaches his pinnacle, there's nothing to stop that. And allegedly, he's stronger than Broly when he reaches his full max potential. I still call that some of that into question, but whatever. So Gohan and Solmax have to duke it out at full power. And uh, then while this Gohan's not even stronger, I still don't think he's quite beast mode going on. So, yeah. And, then, and this is the thing. They say uh, Gohan is the strongest Z fighter, but is Broly a Z fighter now? That's a good question, because technically speaking, I'd imagine Broly is stronger than Gohan. By all accounts. Uh, because the cell that was fighting was not a full-powered cell, so he's not stronger than Broly. But that Gohan was stronger than the cell, so I don't, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, and I, I regardless, um, Gohan struggles. Ultimately, Goku and Raditz would both show pride back up on Earth to help Gohan, especially if they sense the power going uh, power output from the Earth, and they need to go save it. They would go save the help save the day with like a father, uncle, son, Kamehameha tag team. 
and all's well as ends well. And then you go into whatever movie, or if you want to go into Moro, that's fine. I don't go into the manga because the manga events are very different than the anime events. They still happen. It's just very different in the sequence they happen in. <clears throat> I digress, though. What do you think? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you folks next time. Have a good one.